Welcome back, DJ Vic Vapor with you. So we're continuing on the uh, editing portions. So let's go back over to our editor and take a look at the FFT area, this portion up top, where we can add in uh, different bins and um, harmonics and things like that. So let's take a look at it. So if you click here and just drag, you can kind of freehand through here and get a kind of really cool shape. And you see it updates down below. And let me see. So you kind of get the idea. And you also, below here, you have some options. But, you know, doing this freehand can be a little tedious and kind of hit and miss. So if you right click, you do have some options that are fun to work with. You can, let's clear all, and we can go with. Um, let's say create random series gaps so it's a random series gap we can draw even harmonics only so it's only filling in even harmonics for us there we can also after we've drawn in some things we can also say let's um, have a progressive fade so it starts with the fundamental and works down through the rest of the bins, taking out some of the other higher frequencies. Right click, um, progressive fade. If you do that more than once, you can hear how it starts to take away a lot of the higher frequencies and get a little dull. You can actually use this button to repeat your latest command, whatever your latest command was, it'll be repeated for you there. So, um, let me see. You can change the bin size here, zooming in and zooming out. You can have more or less bins if you want. So those are only the odd. But the fun thing here is like, because you can do this, you're gonna actually continue down here in this editor that we discussed in previous lesson and add these shapes as well. I mean, you're not stuck in one specific area. So that is the FFT editor in the uh, editing screen. Let's move on to the next lesson and let's look at how we can import audio uh, wavetables into Serum and work with those.